do another one of my standard um, test kind of setups. And I do, I do the kind of same thing every time for a test because it just makes it that much more expedient in, um, and efficient in post um, versus like being random and bearing it up. It's like something could work, but like it would take me a little bit longer in my post process flow to like cater to every single unique lighting and environmental situation. This allows me to, you know, get exactly what agencies need and can use, uh, and, and I can be rest assured that that it'll be consistent and uh, again efficient as far as outputting. So um, what I have for inside the studio is have a Profoto D1. I've uh, switched out the um, uh, what do you call it, the front element to include a dome. So you slide this puppy on. This is dimpled and very reflective, mirrored almost, uh, and this is just going to be a very punchy hard light. So, um, what I'm doing is I'm aiming the spot more on her chest because, um, again, of the fall off, I aim it at her face and start falling off a lot more. And I'm shooting about mid thigh up. And the key to this is you really want to get your uh, barrel like pretty much directly underneath the um, uh, uh, light. Here. So you kind of minimize that shadow. Just uh, have it up a little bit uh, versus parallel with me. Uh, the light pointed down just a little bit, and it's just because I like the shadow under the chin a little bit more. Uh, and you get that if the light's coming down a bit. There you go. Good. I want this uh, a lot more fun. Um, you, we don't, I know we were joking earlier, you don't have to do ah, like, you know, the little thing. But this is where you can kind of like be a little, um, be a little flirty. Uh, be, you can be like fun sexy where it's kind of like, hey, what's going on, Chris? Which is your boyfriend, you know? Whatever, you know what I mean? Um, you can be like, a lot, again, a lot of motion, uh, do a little jumping. But this is where it's like a little bit crazy and fun. Uh, versus like you don't <laughs> yeah not that but like you know like kind of fun and really a lot of energy and let's just see what we get from right parallel with the uh, with the light and that's gonna really minimize uh, an offset shadow hitting that back wall. This is an evergreen look for fashion for two reasons. A, it's just been used for 20, 30 years. Terry Richardson certainly made it a lot more popular, but he wasn't the person necessarily who invented the dark flash kind of fashion look. This is gonna make your uh, patterns and colors, shooting clothes, really, really pop. It's also very simple, fast, and very cheap as far as like, you know, what you need to rent from a house, let's say. So smaller companies are always gonna love the budget friendliness and they're gonna love the look. <laughs> Big fan of Boomerang. So go go one strap down and then we, uh, look look straight at me and then wink at me. Good. Yeah. And people at home, normally I would have music blaring, but then you couldn't hear all my pearls of wisdom. Uh, but music is very important uh, to keep the energy up at a photo shoot.